In this segment, I'm going to be showing you how your Rainbird Rain Sensor functions. If you flip the lid open, you can see multiple icons here. The first icon is what we call battery life. Since this receiving unit is wired into your controller, this should always have power as long as your controller is plugged in. The transmitting unit on the gutter that detects rainfall has a watch battery in it. This icon is telling you how much battery life is left of the battery on your transmitting unit. The next, next icon is signal strength. Since this is a wireless rain sensor, they are sending a signal back and forth, and this icon is telling me how good a, a signal these two are paired up. This shows me four bars, so we're in good shape with that. The next icon is what they call rainfall set point. As the rain sensor on the gutter gets, detects rainfall, you're going to have small dark bars filling up this rainfall set point. If you look up here, you can see how much rain they correspond to. If it only had one small bar down here, you'd have an eighth of an inch. If it was halfway up, you'd have a quarter inch. If it was all the way full, you'd know you had a half inch of rain. If you would like to adjust, right now, this is set for a quarter inch. So the system will be running until we reach that quarter inch mark. If I want to adjust this so the system would shut down at a lower amount of rainfall, I can simply push the arrow over key and it will start blinking my rainfall set point. At that point I can use my plus or my minus to adjust up or down at what point I would like the sprinkler system to shut off. If I want to shut off at an eighth of an inch, I adjust it all the way down. At which point your arrow is at the far bottom, I'm going to push the arrow over key twice and now it is set to go off at an eighth of an inch. If I push, there's a couple other functions on here, if I push the arrow over key twice, go past the rainfall set point, and your little sprinkler head is blinking down here. If I hit the plus or the minus, let's for instance the plus, I have now suspended watering for 72 hours. There's an X and a circle with a 72 in it. If I left it at this and arrowed over, it would shut the system down for 72 hours. If I hit the plus again, it's gone to another function, override the sensor for 72 hours. If I hit the arrow over and left it at this point, I would have overridden the rain sensor for 72 hours. So it doesn't matter how much rain we've got, the sensor will not shut the system down. Currently I'm going to void those out, arrow over, and this is telling me, because I have a sprinkler icon down here, that the system is being allowed to water because there is no rain in the rain gauge.